I came across a funny post on the Black Magic Pocket Cinema Camera Reddit group since I own Black Magic uh, cameras. And the post reads, I shot an okay short film with it. Now what? Get some gear? Practice that dual ISO thing on some music videos? Shoot, shoot, shoot? Check out this or that YouTuber? Looking for any general advice here? Smiling face. And there's a few that kind of reply, but the one that caught my eye was two words, sell it. And the reason why that I wanted to bring that up is because I think a lot of the times people kind of get caught up on equipment, right? And I get it. We're, we're here to literally produce um, a show, literally produce a video. And sometimes we want to be able to show that, uh, that like the gear that we have and, you know, we take pictures with our cameras and all that stuff. I get it. Um, at the same time, what's more important is the destination of that finished piece. I think most people, and don't get me wrong, most people will will produce things not really knowing like where it lives. I think it's totally fine, especially if you're a beginner, where in, in his um, assumption, which is to shoot, shoot, shoot. Like, yeah, definitely. You want to be able to get super used to your camera. Uh, you need to know your ins and outs of it, like the, the menu, uh, when shit happens, like how do you actually fix that? But the problem as well is that if you don't have a destination for your work, then my next question is, well, what, like, what is the point? So being a photographer slash cinematographer, basically there's three things that will happen. Number one, you make art. Number two, you make money. And number three, you make art while making money. So let's focus on the first one, which is art. Now, if you're making art, probably there's no real quote unquote destination. Um, obviously, it, it still means that you can display it if you like to work enough. So website, uh, maybe it's a print, uh, anything like that where it'll be public facing. But you're making art solely for yourself, right? Uh, you're inspired, uh, you want to try something, you're experimenting, so you're making art for yourself. Now, the moment that you um, make money, it's typically because you're doing it for someone else or for something else, right? So someone is hiring you uh, for your skills. So now, you're, now you've become a service. Uh, and so when you think about being a service, well, the end product is basically dictated by your customer, by your client. Now, you can, of course, give feedback. You can, of course, pitch. But at the end of the day, they're the ones who are, who, uh, who are proving it. Now, there are going to be times where, in, at least in my career, that you are going to be doing things solely for the money. You know, call, call it selling out. Call it however you, you, you feel like it is. But that's, that is what it is, right? You're not necessarily happy at the end of the day, but you're doing it because you're getting paid and you're making that person happy, Right? So it's not necessarily the type of art that you want to do. It's not necessarily the type of photo or video or piece, but you take it because you're getting paid for it. And I feel like the, the last part here is where you can make art while making money is when people then start to perceive and understand your value as an artist, where they take it, they buy whatever you make. And I think as a photographer, um, you know, as an artist, that is what we ultimately aspire to, where we can be ourselves, where we can produce what we want, and then the client, you know, the customer, you know, the audience, the public buys it for what it is. And so when he's asking all these questions, so what do I do with it? Film, get some gear, practice the dual ISO. Basically, it's a weird question because absolutely, you're supposed to use your camera. You're supposed to use your tool why would you ask a question in regards to um, what it would enable you to do? And that's the thing too, for some people is that they believe that an external tool is the end all be all or like the, the solution to their problems. If anything, it's just a conduit. It's the thing that bridges them from, I'm stuck at where I'm at and or I need to answer, oh, I need this to fulfill and produce this or I needed this to make this. So really, the camera, the equipment, the tool, it could be really anything, right? A lot of people argue that you can do a lot with your phone, and you can do a lot with your phone. But just because you have access to the tool doesn't mean that it's the, it's the solution to it. So coming back to the reply on, on the Reddit post where the guy said sell it, 
because the original you know post was was asking these questions like should I practice using the dual ISO? Should I shoot, shoot, shoot? Should I check something on YouTube? Um, looking for general advice here. Well, then what was the point of getting the camera if you didn't have a vision to fulfill? We already know that the camera doesn't shoot itself. It doesn't film itself. It doesn't produce anything. Just like how having access to computer or having access to Premiere, uh, Premiere Pro or Photoshop, it doesn't do it for you. It can help you now with AI and all that stuff, I understand, but you still need to do it. So I kind of felt like um, that post was simply truth. If you don't know what you're supposed to do with it, if you don't know what your end goal or end game is, then why have it in the first place? I love lurking on Reddit. 